<laughs> hey, all right then. Jolly good. Yeah, yeah, yeah. The Yankee and the Brit here in the RTM Radio Network. Friday night, rock and roll night, of course. And we got uh, a group of gentlemen over here called the Boom Lights. Hello, guys. What's going on? How's hey. it going? Better now that you're here. Hey. What's uh So did you sort your telephone signal out? Did you stand on your left leg and hold your hand up in the air? Yeah, I think it was that tinfoil cap I put on. It finally made all the difference in the world. <laughs> We're trying to make a human tower right now just to really boost it. Oh, you guys are the best. <laughs> so we, tell us who you are. Uh, Adam Puff, drums. This is Tony, vocals. I'm Alex. I play uh, guitar. Derek, I play bass. And these are the boom lights, everybody. So we um, we just what songs did we just play just now? We just played three songs from the Boom Lights. One was Visitor, Disconnect, and um, I'm cheating here. Behave like uh, behave, behave like, like your animals. 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 That's yes, it. Uh, yes. Tell, tell us about that song. Behave <laughs> like your animals. Uh, it's actually um, it's kind of a throwaway title. It was the song I wrote about um, an ex girlfriend of mine that uh, wasn't putting out, and it was just kind of a kind of one of those things you know like throw me a bone you know is that where the animal part comes in <laughs> yeah you know let's act like animals let's you know let's mix it up <laughs> so that didn't work out so well i take it <laughs> sometimes you just have to wrinkle the sheets in life you know what i mean <laughs> exactly exactly <laughs> where are you guys uh, what part of the country are you in uh we are in nashville tennessee oh that's right i got a couple buddies with a good band a couple different bands over there are all of you all from the Nashville area, or are you from other parts of the country? Uh, we're actually all transplants. Um, I'm from um, Atlanta. Alex and Derek are brothers. They're from uh, Delaware, and Adam is from Houston. Uh-oh, a Texan. Now that I can live so with. So how did you guys all hook up together? Christian Mingle. <laughs> <laughs> uh, no, it was... Um, these guys have been playing together for a good while. Um, I moved to town... In May of 2015, I didn't have anything going, and just out of curiosity, I was perusing Craigslist, the music section, and um, I saw an ad for this band. It was a well-written ad. It was very direct, and I started listening to the music, and I just thought, I have to be in this band, and uh, called them up. We arranged to play, and it, it's been going ever since. So of all, all you guys, uh, you've been in music like basically all your lives? Have we played in other bands? Um, I've played in a couple other bands back in Atlanta. Um, I don't know. I know Adam did some solo stuff back in Houston. Um, Derek and Alex were actually uh, had their own band when I met them, and uh, we just eventually started playing music together. We became neighbors. Uh, Derek and I live in the same place, um, kind of holding it down as like a music uh, recording place at the time. And Tony moved in across the street, and one day he just came over, and that's when we figured, you know, he was listening to some of our music at the time. And then we found out how great he was as a singer, and it just made complete sense, you know, that one of us should not be singing, and we should have Tony singing, to say the least. And who's, Adam is the drummer, right? That's right, yes. And Tony does the guitar. And sings, like an angel, or like a girl, uh, if that uh, <laughs> like listener has anything on it. Like a, like a little bitch? <laughs> well, he's our little bitch, so ah, it's, it's all good. Yeah, that's it. And what is what's Alex? Is, what's Alex do? <laughs> well, he he asked him to squeal like a pig. Uh, <laughs> all right. <laughs> I was just trying to get an idea who you guys, what what instruments you guys play again, and what you do. Um, and Derek does what? I'm afraid to ask, but I'll ask anyways. What does Derek do? <laughs> I'm both the rhythm and champion and uh, <laughs> bass player of the band. He's a he's a do- he's a dog champion. He's a bass player. Since when did uh, bass Tinder. player? Sound Tinder, like? yeah, you know, yeah. Oh, I was going to say, no wonder. Is who's the one that had the problems with a girl? Uh, well, it wasn't me. I'm married. <laughs> <laughs> well, you have lots of problems <laughs> every day, really. Uh, just you know, since, every day that ends in Y, really, there's a problem. As as since you, when does being married have anything to do with it? I was going to say, it? as soon as you say I do, you've got problems. <laughs> <laughs> you guys play rock and roll, and you're married. What's the matter? <laughs> hey, you know, nothing can stop my ability to rock, man. I mean, it just oozes out of me. What can I say? All right, all right, just testing you. Uh, <laughs> 
<laughs> Who, uh, okay, Adam's the drummer. Uh, I wanted to ask Adam, is uh, how long you been drumming? When did you start? Like when you were like a little kid, or is this something you picked up naturally, or how's that work? Well, I started when I was six years old. I'm 35 now, so been playing, well, been playing close to 30 years now. Um, started playing in bands when I was 13 and uh, never looked back, you know. Uh, I started taking lessons when I was six, started playing in bands when I was 13, and and just kind of did that no matter where I was or what I was doing in my professional life. And, and in 2015, I decided to really just throw caution to the wind and do it professionally. So in addition to this band, I, you know, my day job is essentially playing downtown in Nashville on Broadway. And so I, I'm kind of make a living playing country tunes and, and then, uh, you know, do this as well. And what's this year we're really intent on making some big moves. So what's in your heart, country or rock? I think music's in my heart. I really don't. Uh, Wrong answer. I really don't. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> oh, it's going to be a long. Rock. You meant rock. Going to be a long night for you. That's the reason I asked. <laughs> <laughs> you guys try to play the other school like a pig now. Um, no, it's. Uh, you know, I, I love music, but I, I love these guys. I love what we do, and, you know, I'm, I came here to make something big happen, and I believe we can. So, uh, you know, stay tuned. Well, you guys sound awesome. What makes you do this type of music? I mean, why uh, why the mellower sort of rock? I, I, I can hear some of your influences. Uh, tell me who some of them are. Let me see if I'm even on the right track. Uh, you know, we listen to a lot of, um, I mean, Radiohead's definitely a newer influence, um, newer bands, kind of like, Cold War Kids is definitely one of them, but I think a lot of time we reference uh, Pixies, um, Zeppelin's definitely in there for me personally. U2 definitely, the, their brand of stadium rock we find fascinating. Um, you know, it's it, honestly it's a lot. I mean, I'm sure everyone says it, but it's a lot of different music. But those are like the big ones I would say off the top of my head for sure. Yeah. Well, I like it. I think it's very nice. Uh, it's good, great music to uh, whether you're working or just chilling or. Whatever, it's got a good beat, uh, very soothing, uh, soulful kind of stuff. Uh, you guys really pull it together pretty nice. It sounds great. Uh, Kelly Lee Phillips, of course, has uh, joined Thank us you. in the Thank chat you. here. Uh, you guys got any upcoming shows? Is her question? Uh -oh. <laughs> yeah, that, that's what we say when we see a name come in the chat. We go, uh oh. I think she's checking up on you. <laughs> she wants to know if you have any upcoming shows. Right now, we don't. We're really focused on uh, recording some new material we're working on. We just actually, ironically enough, had uh, several meetings with some producers locally. Um, and we're looking to kick off uh, some recording here in the coming weeks to get out uh, as soon as possible. And once we get the recording stuff done, we're going to focus on shows probably the, the second half of the year. Any particular place, or are you just going to start out around Nashville, or, or are you going wherever it takes you? We'd like to tour. Um, we'll probably do um, a, a CD release party in Nashville for sure. And then we've uh, we've been in talks with our manager about doing something. Hopefully, um, then maybe midsummer doing a small tour um, around the southeast, more than likely. No, of course, like anybody else, uh, you're more than welcome to stop by here and see us. You ever get to Texas? We're in North Texas, up north of Dallas. You ever come around this way, man? Let us know because we'd love it. to have you Just over here. Just invite all the riffraff. That's right. <laughs> 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 we I'll are be on my way down to see my parents, so uh, it's all good. <laughs> yeah, we are the riffraff. So, uh... <laughs> and Tony, Tony is the singer. Is that what I heard? Right. That's it. That's it. So where did you, uh, how old were you when you started singing? What did you start out with? Were you singing things around the house or country, uh, church music? It, prob it probably started <clears throat> with the wheels on the bus go around Shut and up. <laughs> well, very Manilow for him. De definitely. Uh, I, I did a little bit of, uh, a little bit of choir when I was uh, in elementary school. Uh, and then really didn't do anything with music uh, for about four or five years. Probably until I was you know, a freshman in high school and just started uh covering different songs playing different uh the beatles was a big influence for me it's probably one of one of the first songs i ever learned to play uh the beatles uh ccr uh stuff like that when i was really young and then got really into nirvana and the deftones um uh, and yeah just started doing it for fun it was one of those things where i um i was really good at, at mimicking other singers and then uh one day the guy that i was playing was like you know why don't you actually try singing and then it just kind of went from there <laughs> Um, so, so you tried singing yeah. like a little bitch, and everything was okay then. 
He was getting all the bitches. That's it. That's it. <laughs> Bravo. Well done, old chap. <laughs> As for your songs, do you write your own songs? Do you write your own music? We do. Yes. Mm-hmm. Uh, it's pretty much all done, all done in house for us. Um, you know, it starts out usually a couple chords. Tony will have a couple chords. I'll have a couple chords on guitar, and we'll ping pong them off each other. And uh, pretty much, sometimes it develops in, in a short amount of time. Sometimes it might take a week or two, you know, to, to see if we want to keep it. But uh, it's kind of a process of uh, just always writing and then seeing what actually kind of rises to the top and what you want to keep playing, you know. And uh, whatever survives, you know, what a little little arguments we may or may not have behind the scenes that's folks. <laughs> where do you uh where do you get your inspiration for some of these songs ex-girlfriends he told oh us. besides the ex-girlfriend <laughs> she's not banging him anymore so she's of no use <laughs> he's thinking about her regret over that ah. <laughs> there, could, there could be a whole album right stuff, there uh, <laughs> uh, she's not worth the whole album. But no, it's not, it's different things. Um, some stuff is is uh, you know strictly autobiographical. Other things I pull from stuff I observe and may throw in my own little personal uh, things in oh, there. Yeah, but it's just you know different out. stuff. It really just depends. Um, you know. Um, we had a song, Take It or Leave Me, uh, which isn't isn't on the EP, but it was one of the first songs we wrote. And it was one of the first things that I that I actually wrote uh, that didn't really have any of me uh, personally in it. And it was just uh, about this guy that I observed in life. And, uh, yeah, it just kind of took off from there. And so, like I said, it just it just really depends, I guess. Depends on how drunk I am when I start writing. Uh, <laughs> it was if I can read the, my handwriting the next day, uh, you know, so... What uh, what is this song disconnect? What's that all about? It's what we'll be doing from this uh, interview in a moment. No, <laughs> <laughs> Good answer. <laughs> uh, that song, uh, it's it's kind of uh, my own personal take on uh, uh, on uh, organized religion, I guess. Um, kind of my relationship or lack of relationship with God, I guess. All right. So uh, there's a. Uh, there's a couple of lines that poke fun of, uh, you know, TV evangelists, that kind of thing. Do you guys have the lyrics but, uh, for your songs posted anywhere? They are available on, uh, we have a band camp. Uh, I think it's, you know, HTTP, www.boomlights.bandcamp. And on there, that's like one of the sites that asks for the lyrics. So they are up on that site, but uh, that might be the only place you can find them at the moment. Yeah, when a new group... We know, like to be mysterious. Well, I like I like to get the lyrics and and actually read and see what the songs are about because a song that has some depth and a story that's the kind of you know I grew up with that kind of stuff the old classic rock that actually uh, made some sense so it's nice to be able to find the lyrics mm-hmm. and actually see what you guys are saying sometimes and at my age with my hearing like it is due to people screaming and yelling in the in uh, my earphones all the time it's hard to uh, understand a lot of things they don't want to know about your sex life do you shut up you. <laughs> <laughs> well, they they say the the seeing goes as well, so we'll make sure to post them in Braille. <laughs> please, I have a Braille. Uh, my computer works in Braille. My screen does. So yeah, please do that for me. Have you, have you got it out there in cranky old twat mode? Oh, <laughs> <laughs> uh, that that'll be on other websites. <laughs> <laughs> what the hell was that? Have you guys got a pig over there? <laughs> um, he's having some guttural problems, apparently. Someone just farted out of their mouth. I'm not sure who it was. As long as it's not that girlfriend coming in there. Farting <laughs> out of the mouth. <laughs> oh, you got the Brit laughing now. <laughs> She's a fartsy kind of girl over here. Oh, yes, she is. Now then, uh, Kelly in the chat room. Wants to know, can how can everyone purchase your music? Um, you know, actually, it is for free on our Bandcamp. It's available on Spotify. It is available on um, Apple Music or iTunes. I mean, you can pay for it there. Honestly, um, the Bandcamp though is probably the best way to go. You can download it for free on any kind of. Uh, you can get it on a dot wave, dot flac. You know, MP3, M4A. I think just anywhere on there. But yeah, if you feel so inclined, it's definitely on. Um, it's definitely on iTunes right now. Yeah. And we encourage anyone who does download it if. For free, if at a minimum, please follow us on Instagram, follow us on Twitter, Spotify, 
Facebook, all of that stuff. Um, we'd really appreciate it, and uh, we promise a lot of new content in addition to it. So we're looking at your photo on Facebook, the big cover photo on your page. Um, who's the one with the crazy hair? And you the talking Hawaii about my long hair, there? And the Hawaii shirt. Oh, that's probably me. <laughs> that's not a Hawaii shirt. That's a blouse, by the way. Uh, we told him not to wear it, but, you know. Can't separate a man from his blouse. I could see is magnificent. I could see it buttons on the opposite side. <laughs> I thought only ladies wear blouses. <laughs> it was three dollars at Goodwill. I could not pass that up. I just pretend like I got out of the men's section at the moment. He looks so gorgeous. You should try shopping at Sally's. Actually, you love Sally's. Let me tell you, they've got some of the best clothes over there. <laughs> Will they fit me in the fitting room or anything? I got a weird body type, to be honest with you. Oh, yeah. believe me, pretty boy, they'll fit you anywhere. There's just this the style at Sally's is amazing. If you haven't been to the Salvation Army, then please go. Sally's is the best. <laughs> Who's the guy over there with the hat on? It's got an, an N or a W or something on his hat. Uh, that would be me, uh, the drummer Adam. Uh, That's uh, the Nashville Sounds. I see you got yeah. that, I see you got that shit eating grin on your face. You must have just dumped your girl then. <laughs> well, you know, <laughs> someone has to maintain the sense of humor around here, it might as well be me. I see. <laughs> well <laughs> done, making us laugh in between photos and we're also hold it back. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> and uh who's the gentleman sitting upright like a Greek statue at the uh, gates of hell there? Like one of those lions like that. He's got the uh funky little shirt pocket on his teeth. The main no, that's Derek. That's me. That's Derek. I'm in the other back corner. Who is that? He wins the band award for best hair. <laughs> he doesn't have any. I mean, it blends right in with the background. I thought the one with the crazy hair was the guy in the girl shirt. Yeah, you don't see all the Albert Einstein look. Kelly says that's Puff Daddy. <laughs> <laughs> and uh, who's that way over there with a the tattoo on his right right bicep? That's me, Tony. All right, we got you pretty much figured out over here. And who's this Derek guy? He's not in the picture, huh? No, I'm the one sitting upright. Derek sitting upright. Now, see, you told me he wasn't there, and he is yeah, there. Yeah, he's right? got the beard. Right? Pocket. I was sure. I was sure you said Derek was at work. There's yeah, four, the pocket. Look, so. four names. Watch this now. This is an American. One, two, three, four guys. Four guys in the picture. <laughs> see how that works over here in America? We count by numbers. One, two, three, four. <laughs> So you guys didn't say Derek was at work and not on the call. Okay, I was hearing things. He I, 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 I can juggle work and play. I, I'm oh, not going to miss out on an opportunity <laughs> like this. It's, he's on Tinder right now, too. <laughs> Tinder. Go get him on Tinder, ladies. You're not it's going down. He's on Tinder. <laughs> New, newly single, by the way. <laughs> not anymore. I was just about to ask, Tony, what are you going to sing for well, us you tonight? Well, you know. You want to, man? What am I singing? I didn't know I was singing. What do you guys want to hear? Come on, do something a cappella. Come on, sing us something. Come All right. Um, Adam, start tapping your fingers like your drums. <laughs> how about some uh, Roy Orbison? Go on, then. Yeah? Yeah? Yeah. yeah. <clears throat> yeah. All right, I'll do my best Roy Orbison. <laughs> I was all right for a while. I could smile for a while. But then I saw you last night, you held my hand so tight As you stopped to say hello Oh, you wish me well, you couldn't tell That I'd been crying over you Yeah? <laughs> <laughs> Beautiful! <Woo>! Absolutely! <laughs> nice. Thank you! Man, I'm wet. Damn, that's awesome. Ooh, take a bow. <laughs> <laughs> well. So where, where do you see yourselves in five years, apart from uh, being just as crazy? Obviously uh, in my mansion, you know, surrounded by about, you know, 10 to 15 babes divorced. <laughs> it's going to be um, <laughs> You know, totally living like a rock star, of course. Tony, what do you think? Uh, you know, driving a new car. Living in his mansion. <laughs> not not bartending anymore. Mansion? Mansion would be nice. No, living in his mansion uh, with his women. <laughs> right. 
Oh, I don't know where this guy's been. Fuck that. (laughs) 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 Oh, fuck. (laughs) Oh, right. Alex, where do you see yourself, brother? Uh, You know, uh, in the mountains, yeah. I'm trying to get away from these guys. (laughs) He's going to be the next Ted Kaczynski. Um, (laughs) Very sad for him. Let us all pray right now. We're all still trying to process the inauguration today. Uh, <laughs> yeah, how's that working for you? <laughs> well, it's, not, it's not as well as could be expected, you know. I didn't think about it. I was uh, too busy, too busy working, talking, trying to trying to make this band happen. Well, it seems like you're doing good so far. <laughs> yeah, you know, every day just try to do something. Somebody just drive the four wheel drive that, truck through your room. Going. Hey, hey, guys, I will ask you the most important question of the evening, seeing as my husband is slacking seriously. He normally wants to know what kind of truck he drive. That was my next question. Anybody got a four-wheel drive truck? I drive a Ford F-150 Lariat 4x4. Four four. <laughs> Hero! So, yes, uh, Hero! You know, being from Texas, you have to, dude. Hero! Yeah. There's a god right there for you. Yes, sir. <laughs> yeah, man. From Texas. You think I'm driving a Honda Get the hell out of here. As long as nobody's driving a Tundra, you're all right. <laughs> no, man. Tundra's ugly as hell. All right, I'm just going to go ahead and put that out there. And if that offends any of your listeners, good. They deserve it. <laughs> I'm right there with you. I'll delete them. Yeah. Yeah, please do. <laughs> That's awesome. Uh, let's see. What else we got for these guys? Um, are any, one of you's married. The rest of you guys are all single? Yeah, they were smart. <laughs> um, oh boy you gotta go home tonight oh you are home it's even worse <laughs> she knows i'm joking honestly she has to put up with a lot she you know she lets me do uh everything i've wanted to do and it takes a strong woman to let a man do that so in yeah. all seriousness uh she's the greatest ever my wife That's anyways beautiful. i'll let these guys talk that's beautiful Kelly- uh yeah tony and i are uh, kind of taken at the moment uh but derek is Freshly single. I cannot reiterate that enough. Freshly single. Long flowing hats. Freshly shaven. Beautiful five o'clock shadow. Oh, he's got this double working. Looks like a supermodel, ladies. And he's pretty well hung. <laughs> no, 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 no. Is that Chinese? Well hung. <laughs> now, he's only three inches from the ground. <laughs> I hope not all of that is me, uh, me, on the other hand, I'm, I'm a grower, not a shower. So. He's like a mic <laughs> really. Yeah, yeah. Uh, <laughs> yeah right. <laughs> uh, Kelly Lee says your truck is super nice. Uh, I hate to ask, but has she been inside of it? Is that, does she know something we don't? You know, she was sliding around in it like an air hockey table. It was crazy for her. <laughs> Score! Suddenly We're going to take the phone away from him now. <laughs> <laughs> Suddenly got quiet over there. <laughs> we, uh, look, we already had to take his Facebook and uh, Instagram privileges away. He's on lockdown. <laughs> Strictly confined to Twitter. That's all he's allowed on. <laughs> Fingers crossed with that one, by the way. Oh. Kelly, Kelly says she's kicking your ass. She said, off with his head. She knows I like that kind of stuff, so I'll be right at home. Mm, okay, well, that leaves me at a loss, too, now. What the hell do I say? How can you top that? What else can be said, really? Well, oh. anything else you want to harass him with? Otherwise, I'm going to hit him up with those ten questions. Hit him. Does that mean go ahead? Is that go what you're ahead. saying? yeah. All right, then. Uh, you guys can take turns answering these if you like. I got... Uh, Ten questions for you, and then we'll let you guys go because you're awesome as hell, man. We love having you around. Unless there's anything that you'd like to tell us about, anything up and coming, please do pipe up. Yeah, it's really keep your ear to the ground. We should have new songs out by hopefully, um, ideally mid March. You know what I mean? So uh, if you want to keep track of us, yeah, you can find us on any of the big social media sites for sure. And uh, yeah, definitely new stuff coming soon. Better, definitely keep getting better. So it'll Are- be good. Are you playing any gigs around Nashville at all now, or is that waiting too? Yeah, we're going to be waiting on that. I, unless it, unless something comes up that we really can't turn down, um, we're going to focus really on just getting new material out there. All right. Well, let me hit you guys up with these 10 questions. Like I say, you can take turns, answer them, or just one of you can answer them. You guys can uh, figure that out for yourselves. But uh, question number one, uh, okay. to whoever wants to answer, what's your favorite word? Fuck. Oh, God. <laughs> All right. Uh, question number two. What's your least favorite word? 
No. <laughs> thought your least favourite was wife. <laughs> I love my wife. She knows it. I love my wife to death. Okay, let's... Uh, no one ever... <laughs> let's let's do it this way. I'll pick a name and you can answer. Adam, uh, what turns you on? Yes. Um, women dancing. All right. Tony, what turns you off? Feet. <laughs> did he say, did you say feet? Did, he, did you say feet or heat? Yes, he did. Some big, calloused, toenailed feet. <laughs> oh, I'm with you on that one. Is that the same girl he dumped? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, she just seen the nails on her. Man, never trained them. Had some bunions. <laughs> oh. of freedom. She wore toe socks too, which is fucking weird. Oh, baby, <laughs> <laughs> look like the black clothes. <laughs> I heard that bunions go great on toast. <laughs> oh, <laughs> with a bit of miracle whip. Sounds yummy. <laughs> oh, uh. You gotta get that country crunch. Yes. Honestly, it sounds like the buffet from hell. <laughs> I forgot where the hell I was now. Uh, 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 Alex, uh, what sound do you love? Sorry, what's that? What sound do you love? What sound do you love? Oh, um, you know, uh, train is loud enough. We're going by train tracks. So I'm used to it. It's actually one of my favorite sounds. You know? All right, Derek. Uh, Derek's still with us, right? Yeah. <clears throat> what sound? Yeah. What sound do you hate? Uh, I'd say nothing is more irritating than a high pitched scratching sound. I, I can't take that. Ah. Like <laughs> fingernails on a blackboard, is that it? Yeah, exactly. All right, yeah. uh, Adam, what is your favorite curse word? Fuck. I should I, I should have known that. <laughs> uh, let's see. Alex, what profession other than yours would you like to sure. attempt? Um,. You know, you know those people at Lowe's? This is completely serious. I, first of all, I'm colorblind, but I've always envied the people at Lowe's that uh, they mix up the paints. I think that's like the most <laughs> badass job in the world. Because you could probably show a bake, you know what I mean? You just type in colors, make some dope-ass paint in your house any color you want, you know what I mean, with the stuff you, you mess up on purpose. And then people just come up to you all the time. I mean, it sounds dope. I don't know. We set our standards very low with this man. So every color would be black. <laughs> sounds like. Realistic. Sounds like it's your ideal job. Uh, let's see. Adam. Do it all day long. <laughs> Adam, what profession would you not like to do? Um, sewage treatment plant operator. Oh. Uh, that's, uh, that's just... You know, I played baseball near, near a sewage treatment plant when I was younger, and just the thought of having to work in that every single day. No. Oh, I, think that, I think that'd be a shit job right there. <laughs> okay, Derek, here's one for you. Uh, yeah. la last question. If heaven exists, what would you like to hear God say when you arrive at the pearly gates? You guys may find. I think we mutual fans. Say again, you Perfect broke response. You broke up then. You're obviously standing on two feet. Stand back on one foot and put your arm back up in the air. What would you like to hear God say when you enter at the pearly gates? I would love to hear him say that you guys made some amazing music. Ah, hey. good choice. Good answer. You just saved the show. <laughs> <laughs> you guys are all Thank right. You. Thank you. You get down here to Thank Texas. You. Make sure you look us up, man. Come on down here. We'll put you on the air live with us so we can have some serious discussions. Hey, man. We'd love to. Do it. Yeah. Do it. Thank you for having us on. We really do appreciate it. Go ahead. Sorry, I said I don't think these guys are capable of serious discussions. <laughs> no, not really. That's boring. We're not trying to bore your listeners. <laughs> I doubt if you've done that. Not with this crazy bunch. All right. <laughs> What's well, great, guys, man? Whatever you're doing the rest of the night, go out and have some fun and be careful and uh, enjoy yourselves and keep kicking out them great tunes. And when you get some more tunes, send them over our way or have Kelly hook us up, whatever it takes. You'll be one of the first, man. Thanks a lot for the time. We really do appreciate it. And Lisa, I love you very much. All right, man. <laughs> Thank you guys a million times over, and uh, we'll see you somewhere down the road. Appreciate it. You guys take care. Thank you. Thank you. Thank Bye. you so much. Take yep. care. Bye-bye.